my name is Emerson from Electric Avenue here in Austin, Texas, uh, working on a customer's Gazelle C380 Plus. He got a flat in the rear, so today we'll be replacing the tube, tire, and adding Tannis armor for extra protection as well. The tools we need for this job will be a small flathead screwdriver, a 2mm Allen wrench, 15mm socket or wrench, a couple of plastic tire irons so as to not damage the rim, and then a bike pump. So first thing you'll want to do is put the hub in about a medium percent of the range so we have access to the uh, cable ends. And we'll go to the rear of the bike and simply pop these off with our little flat head. This just comes right out. And then also with the two millimeter, you can use that to kind of grab the cable end and sort of just pry it out of the way as well. You want to get those cables out of the way first so you don't drop the wheel with any tension in the cable. Next, with your 15 millimeter, you'll just loosen the wheel nuts. Other side now. The wheel will just pop out. It'll have to move forward a bit to get the belt out of the way. And there you go. Now I'm just checking the tire to make sure I have all the actual debris out of there so as to not repuncture the tube again whenever you install the tire. Yep, I can see it right there. And we can see with a little bit of soapy water, puncture right there in the sidewall. So now we know where that is, about 180 degrees away from the valve stem and the logo on the tire as well. Now we're just removing the tire. Very simple process. Then we can just pop that bead off by hand. Lose this nut here. Take the tube out. And if we look on the tube as well, we'll be able to see the puncture about 180 degrees away from that valve stem. You can see the puncture is small, but obvious. Either way, that tire's uh, tube is toast. So to get the rest of the tire off, you'll just simply get a bead and pry it off the rest of the way. This is Tannis armor here. It's just an extra layer of protection to keep you safe from punctures. Again, finding the logo and um, lining it up with the valve stem. Making sure that the tire is rotating the same way that the wheel will. So, this is actually backwards now because the way the tread runs it's obvious that this is forwards. And also, there's a logo on the tire itself that says rotation this way. That little pop you heard was just me inserting the one bead of the tire inside the entire tire uh, wheel. So with one side of that bead in there, you're going to want to put the other side of the tennis armor in all the way. Now with the new tube, removing the cap and the nut again. careful to put the tube all the way inside the rim and that the Tannis armor will be totally encasing the tube. 
at this point it's good to have a friend or somebody to help you out so you can uh, keep holding that tire and tube in to make sure you don't lose any progress. Massaging the tube out of the way of the rim. Should be ready for inflation now. <laughs> With the tennis armor, we can have a bit less pressure. So around 40 PSI is good actually. Right, and installation is the reverse of removal. Now that we're done, I'm going to take this bike for a test ride, make sure that it's got no problems. 